After you have unboxed your receptor, you should find that there are two Ethernet cables to make the two different network connections a receptor can make, automatic and crossover. The first cable we're going to look at is the blue cable. This is your standard Ethernet cord. You can make a network connection from your receptor to a router using this Ethernet cord. The red cable is used for crossover connections. This will be connected directly to your PC from your receptor. To make an automatic network connection, connect the blue Ethernet cable to the Ethernet port on the back of the receptor, then connect it to your wireless router or modem. To make a crossover connection, connect the red cable to the back of the receptor and then directly to your computer. Now I'm going to make an automatic network connection. To do this, hit the setup button on the front panel of the receptor. Use the top encoder knob to scroll until you see network mode. Inside network mode, you'll find that you can change between automatic, crossover, and just turn off the network completely by using the bottom encoder knob. If you scroll one more with the top encoder knob, you'll see the network status. If you have made a connection, your network status should say ready and you'll see a displayed IP address of your receptor. If you would like to make a crossover connection instead, Scroll back with the top encoder knob to network mode. Use the bottom encoder knob to select crossover. Push in on the bottom encoder knob to select. If you scroll back to network status, you'll see that it's checking, and it should assign an IP address ending in 254.253. Now that we have set up a receptor, it's time to view it. Go to your PC and open up the Receptor Remote Viewer. Here it should scan for any receptor on your network. If you've made an automatic or a crossover connection, you should now see your receptor displayed. Select it and hit Open Viewer.